Hello and good morning. My name is Johannes Nortz. I'm a Citrix professional, member of the CTA community, Citrix Technology Advocates. I'm a Citrix certified expert on application delivery and security, and I'm a Citrix certified instructor. I have a Citrix Netscaler test environment at wonderkitchen.network. And of course, I got my more or less famous Citrix blog at nords.at. I'm an Austrian, so you see Austria is in the middle of Europe, the very middle of Europe. So neighboring countries are Switzerland, Germany, Czechia, Slovakia, Hungary, Croatia, Italy, and Liechtenstein. I was born in Innsbruck. Innsbruck is a small city, about 150,000 inhabitants, a bit south of Munich. Currently, I'm living about 500 kilometers away in the Vienna area. So this is Vienna. Maybe this is the municipality area, about 3 million people here. And I'm living outside in Baden near Vienna. Baden is a small city, it's a nice city. It's very famous for its photo exhibition every summer. There are beautiful pictures all over the city. Well, that's what the city looks like. Maybe you see the yellow house in the background, this one. This actually is the window where I'm currently sitting. Baden is in the middle of a very nice soft area with a lot of hills, a lot of wineries. So it's a nice area to live, a little bit outside of Vienna, so about 20 minutes by train. I'm doing a lot of cycling. So this is me driving with my friends. I'm the, the last one on the road. I'm doing a lot of Netscaler, teaching, blogging, consulting. I do this all over the EMEA area. In this version of my videos, I will go into basic load balancing. I will do really basic, so it's not in depth. What is the goal of load balancing? Well, first of all, we want to evenly distribute load over three servers. The three servers are 93.83.148.43, red.wonderkitchen.network, the dot forty four blue dot one the kitchen dot network and the dot forty five green dot one the kitchen dot network. It's easy to distinguish between the three servers because they use red, blue, and green background colors. So we will immediately know to which server we are connected to. The main goal of load balancing, of course, is to increase performance. The three servers will be three times as fast as one server would be. And of course, the second goal is to add fault tolerance to the environment. So which objects are needed? With load balancing, we have objects called servers. Servers are, let's call it stupid objects representing the real web servers. So they consist of an IP address only. The next kind of objects are the so-called services. Services are more advanced objects representing the service provided by the service. So in my case, it will be an HTTP server. So it will be HTTP on port 80. And last but not least, the virtual service. The virtual service is the object the user connects to. The virtual server is what the user would consider to be the web server. So load balancing will hide the complexity of our data center from the users. During this session, we won't go into details about the objects. We will just create and maintain these objects. So first of all, we log on to the Netscaler. Username and password is NSUT by default. Now we will click traffic management and load balancing. The feature is already enabled and go to servers. The server needs to have a name. This is my red server. And it's using my test environment. So this is wonderkitchen.network. So it's red.wonderkitchen.network. 
the IP address is 93.83.148.43. And I will do the same for the blue server. The 44. And for the green server, with the 45. So now I have three servers, all of them are enabled. Now next I will create services. I will create the red service using the red server, an existing server, HTTP port 80. I will do the same for the blue service using the blue server, again HTTP port 80 and for the green service. Now all of the services show up, that's fine. Next we have to create the virtual server. It has to have a name. It has to be unique, of course. The protocol should be HTTP and IP address. The IP address has to fit into the ranges of IP addresses you have in your lab environment. Virtual service created, it shows down because there are no services bound. So I have to bind the services. I bind all of them. Select, bind. Continue. done and now you see it shows up I will now open a new tab and surf to the newly created virtual server we get to the server we load the page get the red one reload it's the green one now I surf to the slash home.htm here we are it is blue and reload is red and reload is green. There's also a red server, red.h slash red.htm. Reload. This is the red page from the blue server, from the green server, and the red page from the red server. And the blue page, blue.htm, blue the page from the red server, blue page from the blue server, and so on. Now there is also a green page, green.htm, green page from green server, green page from red server, green page from blue server. Turn home and then click for a more colorful page. What is this more colorful page about? Well, the page itself comes from the green server. That's why it got a green background. The fonts are red because the style definitions come from the red server. Now let's have a look at the first of the pictures. It's got a green frame, it comes from green server. The second one got a red frame, so it comes from red server. And the last one got a blue frame, so it comes from the blue server. And refresh. And refresh and refresh. I will press F12. F12 will open up the debug window, refresh the page, and I get one up the other all the requests. There are two, four, six, seven requests. The web page itself is blue, so it should come from the blue server. Let's click the first one, and we will see it comes from the dot .44. Now, the styles are green, so they should come from the 45. You see, that's true. We don't know where the FAF icon came from, but I guess it's the 43, the red server. The market.bng, this one, comes from the green server because it got a green frame. So let's see, this should be the 45. Here it is. The next one, the locksmith picture, 
comes from blue server, so it should be the 44. And this one, the two ladies with the apples, apple.png comes from red server, so it should be the 43. And last, one more time, the five icon, and the five icon comes from the 44.